Greetings and salutations, YouTube. We have here is a eight horse Briggs and Stratton uh, engine off my Troy, Troy built? Yeah, Troy built rear tine rototiller. And uh, yeah, sorry I didn't get any video to tear it down, but it's in a million pieces right now. And uh, I got this rototiller from the same lady that I got the uh, farm wall from. And uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Well, I, I tore it down because this thing sat outside in the elements for the last 15 years. Fortunately for me, I live in the desert southwest, and the only thing that really goes to hell in a handcart out here is the paint and anything that's rubber. So, I will try to figure out, because I've never tore one of these things. It's not, I've, I've torn uh, little small engines like this apart, but never with one, never one with one of these little starter clutches. Uh, this engages the recoil, and uh, I didn't know how to get that thing off. So um, I went on YouTube and I found a video of a guy that shows how to take this off. Now, what you're about to watch is an exact duplication of what that guy did, except that he had some very specialized tools. He had a very special tool that fit over, it was a bar basically that, I'll find, find that video and I'll put a link in the description so you can compare the two if you want to. But it has a special tool that's basically a bar that fits uh, over the fins and keeps this flywheel from turning and then a very special uh, spanner wrench that fit over here to spin the thing off. This is actually threaded on. So. I'm going to show you the redneck way to do it because I'm not going to go out and spend $100 on a specialized set of tools. Take this flywheel off when this is probably the only time in, in my life that I'll ever do this. So uh, basically I have my engine here on my bench and I've got this thing locked down with some vice grips. And to keep the flywheel from turning I'm just going to take my BAS screwdriver. That's a BAS. That's a big ass screwdriver. I'm going to stick it in the fins here, like so. Lock that in place, like so. And then it's going to fall on the floor, like so. And I'm going to pick it up. And here's the advantage of having a specialized tool. It won't fall off. Put some tension on it. Then, I'm gonna get this tool. <laughs> this is a BAW. Big ass wrench. I'm gonna slip it over there like the other. And just spin this thing off. It's easy as that, man. Spins right off like that. Now, to get the flywheel off, there's this guy also had a very special tool that fit over this shaft here. Because there's there's two two ways that you can you can get a, a puller and screw the puller into these little bosses here and pull it off with a you know a puller. Or you can just wrap on the end of this. Well you don't want to hit this with a hammer because you'll mushroom this. So he had this really cool little tool, this little sleeve tool that went over this, and protected the shaft, and you hit the, the tool with a hammer. I don't have that special tool, and I don't have a lathe to make one. But Steve does, but I'm not gonna bother him. What I do have is a 9 16th Harbor Freight socket. I'm not gonna feel bad about hitting this with a hammer. And it fits perfectly over the end of that thing. Take a hammer. It's a, a L-A-H, it's a little ass hammer. couple wraps and that shock will actually just, it's on a tapered shaft, the shock from those hammer wraps will just loosen that right up. Don't lose the key. You got this little wash here that's kind of uh, dimpled. It's like a, it's almost like a wave washer but it's not really. And then you got a magnet here, you just take that right there and sit it in the magnet so you don't lose it.
And that's how a redneck takes a flywheel off an eight horse brakes. So, if you like my little video, give a thumbs up. Go ahead down there and uh, I think it's, it's over here. I think it's over here. Uh, click on the subscribe button. If you're so inclined, go down in the comment section and comment. And until next time, you have a splendid day. Bye.